In this Microsoft Excel tutorial, we will look at how to add a reference line to a line chart, such as an average line, and how to shade the chart at or below the average, and how to display both the average line and the shading. Let's begin by selecting our data, going to the Insert menu, and in the Charts section, select Line with Markers. I will select the chart title, press Delete, select the grid lines, and press Delete, and then click the plus sign next to the chart and add a legend to the top of the chart. Unfortunately, Excel does not have a way for us to check a box and display an average line. We will need to provide data points so Excel can draw the second line. This means adding a second column of data to hold the monthly average value. Let's calculate the value in the first cell by typing equals, average, open parentheses, select our data range, and close parentheses. We can see the formula in the formula bar. In front of each letter and number, I am going to place a dollar sign. This lets Excel know that this formula should always use the same range of data to calculate the average. That way, when I copy it, the average is repeated on each row. Now let's add the second column of data to our chart. When the chart is selected, the data for it is highlighted on the screen. If you hover the mouse in the bottom right-hand corner, you can drag your mouse over to the right to add in the second column. Or if you prefer, you can click on the chart design menu, select data, and then select all three columns of the data. Now I will select the average line, right click, select format data series, and on the panel that appears under fill in line, go to the section for line and change the line width to be thinner. Under marker in marker options, I will select none. If we zoom in, we can see that the average line is in front of the donations line. I would like it to be behind that line. Under chart design, I will click on select data. And in the series box, click on monthly average and then click the up arrow. That way the monthly average line will be drawn first and the donations line will appear in front of it. The legend lets us know which line is which. However, I think it would be more effective if we add a direct label onto the average line. To do this, I will delete the legend, select the line, and then select only the last data point on the line. Click the plus sign off to the right of the chart, check the box next to data labels, click the arrow to the right of that, and click on more options. This brings up the formatting panel, and under label options, I will check the box next to series name, uncheck the box next to show leader lines, and in the separator box, delete out the comma that is there, so that our label reads monthly average $32,075. As a final touch, I will make the font of this data label the same color as the average line. And as a final step, I'm going to hide the column that says monthly average. When I do this, the average line has disappeared, but that's okay. Just click on chart design, select data, and click the button hidden in empty cells. And check the box show data in hidden rows and columns. And we now have a nice report showing us for which months the total donations fell above or below the monthly average in the year 2022. If we want to update this chart using data for the year 2023, we can copy and paste it. The chart will update automatically. This is because we used a formula to calculate the average. We can easily modify this chart so that instead of drawing the average as a line, we can shade or highlight the area of the chart that is below average. Let's see how that would work from the chart design ribbon. Click on change chart type. On the all charts tab, scroll down to combo. Set the donations to line with markers. The monthly average set to area.
And now we can select the shaded area and on the home ribbon, change the color and so on. We can also create a version of this chart that has both an average line and shading below the line. A simple way to do this is to just right click on the area, select format data series and add a border around the area. But if we want just one line across the top and not a border around the entire area, the only way I know to do this is to set up the data so that it looks like this. The first three columns are exactly as before, the month, donations, and monthly average. I added a fourth column that also contains the average. And I'm going to change this column header so that we can tell the last two columns apart from each other. Now I will select all four columns, insert a combo chart, set the donations as a line with markers, the first monthly average as a regular line with no markers, and the second monthly average column as an area. And now we can format this chart as we did before. As you can see, to display the average on a chart, whether as an average line or a line with shading, you basically go through the same steps. First, put the data in columns, then create a combo chart so that we can display each column of data in a different way. One column as a line, another column as a shaded area, and so on. And if we repeat the same formatting process we went through earlier, we will end up with a pretty cool looking chart. I hope you found this video helpful. If you enjoy learning about working with data, please consider subscribing to this channel.